Hi, my name's Gaz. Uh, I live in Madrid and I'm an amateur macro photographer. We're going to have a look at uh, the local park near where I live today. Uh, we're going to see what bugs we can find. A lot of the grass areas are, are dead due to, you know, uh, the weather out here in Madrid. It's like 34 to 36 degrees at the moment. And due to, you know, climate change, it's probably not going to get any cooler during the summers which is killing the grass. There's not really a sprinkler system all over this park. So we're gonna have a look around and see what bugs we can find in this local park. Um, so, we're gonna head on in. So we're just taking a break now from um, walking around, giving my camera a chance to cool down as it was overheating. So far, we've um, we've got a photograph of uh, a red vein darter, a very common dragonfly around these parts. And there's a little kid going past now on a bike. Beep. Uh, so a red vein darter. Um, that's the one on the video that I was taking a photograph of. Whilst I was walking here, I clocked there was a female red vein data. Uh, the female doesn't have the actual red colour. Um, the, 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 ma the males are the ones that are brightly coloured red with all the markings on the sides. Anyway, I, I seen the female uh, and she was underneath a leaf eating a butterfly. Now, I managed to get one okay shot, but the exposure wasn't great. I tried to maneuver to get another shot, but she got scared and flew off. So that was a bit annoying. But hopefully we can recover that photograph and it'll look okay. Uh, it's a really good area to take photographs because there's, there's a water nearby. So we have damselflies and dragonflies. What else is really good is there's a lot of bush crickets. So you get a lot of grasshoppers and crickets knocking around and the second the second part before where I was on the floor that's when I was taking a photograph of what I think was a a common brown bush cricket and they just look the same color as dead grass uh, quite hard to spot but if you walk slowly through uh, the area where they're occupying and uh, instead of uh, instead of like walking normally I just scoot my feet along so I don't stand on them and crush them and you'll see them spring into action to to move out of the way and that's when you can find them and that's when you can narrow down oh now loads more kids going across just causing absolute havoc for my uh, recording but I'm in a park so that's what you're going to expect we're going to go and get closer now to where the water is and there is I think it's a it's a blue tailed skipper I think that's the name of the dragonfly i really want to get a photograph of one of them because they're quite big so it's easier i don't have to get so close to them to get a photograph but they don't really perch on tree uh, branches or dead grass or weeds they don't they don't they they tend to just sit on the edge of where the water is so it's very difficult to approach them because i'm higher up than they are uh, and i think they see me as a predator so uh, i'm going to see if i can get a photograph but probably won't be able to but we'll try all right let's go over
So we've uh, we've left the park now. I uh, stood in some shit next to uh, where the, the little pond lake was. Now my feet stink like crap. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and probably throw these trainers in the bin, clean my feet. Uh, we didn't manage to get anything else, unfortunately. I'm probably gonna get back home now and edit the photographs that I have got. Hopefully I'll be able to go out next week or the week after, do another video or try and go to a different, either a different park or to uh, a different area of that park because it is quite a, a large uh, grassy area. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take care and uh, I'll see you next time.